All right, we are on location and today we have a little bit of a different camera view. Let's have some fun. All right, guys, we are here on location today and we're filming with the iPad because we decided to strap the phone to the TTO too. We're trying to make this thing go as fast as we can and this is the test flight. All right, so let's turn this thing on. All right, and let's get recording on this. You ready, man? Yes, I'm excited to see the first point of view. Yeah, me too. Well, let's get moving. Let's see how fast it goes. Make sure it's in a good line. Not on low. Oh no! Dang. There you go. Let's go a fast one. Bring it back. All right, we got this thing to the bin. Let's open her up and see what we got. Ah. Oh, come on, dude. We are way off there. Look at this. We're chewing deep into this. What happened was the pinion moved in. Now, let's set it back into place. Let's tighten up that Allen and take her back out. Man, we barely gripping on there. All right, let me show you what happened. That little set screw right there just got loosened, moved the pinion back, started grinding the back of the spur. Much better. All right, we're back on location and we're doing round two now. Fixed up a few things, got rid of those shock towers because we don't need the camera mount anymore. Tightened up that spur gear uh, and the pinion now lined up nice and we're going with the 3s trash in that 2s and we need power so let's get this thing out and see how fast we can go turn that thing on man let's get moving let's get on, let's get on it ready here we go now ready ease into that gas Looks like we got a little bit of an issue. Got more grinding again. We're barely pulling this trigger. I think that spur is gonna need a little bit of Loctite. All right, so that thing is grinding again. We're gonna take it back to the shop one more time and tighten up that pinion gear. So if it keeps happening, we have a theory. Maybe this TTO2 just can't handle 3S. All right, we brought her back to the shop and after a little bit of review, I figured something out. That pinion gear is just fine right where it's at, except that we have a little bit of slop going on right here. So with that slop, I had to move the pinion gear one step up. We were on the 19, now we're on the 18. That fits a little bit better. And I think now we're sitting flush. 
Let's take her back out, round three. All right, here we are, round three. We moved the pinion to number 18 spot on that stock mount. I think that's gonna solve all of our issues. Let's get moving. It's on. Ready? All right, here we go. All right, let's ease into that gas. Sounding a lot better, a whole lot better actually. that sound very familiar sound yeah. all right let's try pull that trigger yeah we got a little bit of grinding going on something's not right here well guys we're gonna call this a failure not a success but we got to take it back to the shop and see what we could do with it all right, one thing that we did find out today is that we put way too much power on this car and the gears, the screws, they just can't handle it. So once we get this thing really reinforced, we get some good screws on there, maybe some Loctite. <laughs> I wanna stick that 3S, I wanna stick to it. I know, man, you say 2S is what we need, but I think 3S is the way to go. No, We're it has to be 2S. No. 3S is too powerful. Uh, we need power. We need more power, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, but too much power means explosion. <laughs> All right. Well, till next week, we're going to get this thing to the shop and we're going to have some fun. See you guys. See ya.